Hi everyone, welcome to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast, your daily audio summary of the latest news reported in the Ukrainian media. My name is Artem, and here is the news. 1007 days less the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Ukrainian open source intelligence analysts Deep State informed that the Russians had occupied the village of Novoselidivka in the Kurahiv direction and Petrivka in the Pokrovsk direction of the Donetsk region. Reports focus. The enemy advanced near Novomlinsk and Kruhlehivka in Kharkiv Oblast. Near Zhovte, Pustinka, Pushkine, Rozdolne, Rozliv, Veseli Hai, Rivnopil, Sonsivka, Berestki and Kurahiv in Donetsk Oblast. Reuters informs that Russian troops set a new record for weekly advances since the beginning of 2022, seizing almost 235 square kilometers of Ukrainian territory, reports TSN. At the beginning of the invasion, Russian troops seized large areas of Ukraine but were later pushed back to the eastern and southern regions. The front line remained largely static for two years until the latest active fighting began in July. New York Post, with reference to Politico.pro, informs that US President Joe Biden has called on Congress to allocate an additional 24 billion US dollars to strengthen military support for Ukraine, reports Ukrainska Pravda. According to the report, the White House Office of Management and Budget has proposed including this financial assistance in the package of decisions in order to avoid a funding freeze by the next presidential administration. Of the total 24 billion, 8 billion is earmarked for financing contracts for American companies to supply weapons to Ukraine. Another 16 billion is to be spent on replenishing the US arsenal. However, some Republicans have already expressed their disagreement with this step, sharply criticizing the request. Earlier, US Secretary of State Antony Blinken has stated that the United States will ensure Ukraine has everything it needs to quote unquote fight effectively in 2025. Following a meeting with G7 foreign ministers in Italy, Blinken emphasized that the group and its partners are determined to ensure Ukraine has the financial resources, ammunition and manpower required to effectively combat Russian aggression or negotiate peace from a position of strength in 2025. He highlighted the U.S. ongoing efforts to enhance security assistance aimed at bolstering Ukraine's defenses in the East. Quote, the reality is that Ukraine is fighting for us. It is not only fighting for itself, it is fighting for us. Unquote. Earlier, the Biden administration asked Congress to approve the intention to cancel half of Ukraine's debt for economic assistance, approximately 4.65 billion US dollars. We would really appreciate if you could rate us, ideally with five stars, and leave a glowing review in the app where you are listening to this podcast, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and others. This really helps more people to find out about the highlights from Ukraine and truth about Russia's invasion. The cabinet approved a one-time cash assistance payment to certain categories of Ukrainians to help them through the winter period, reports Ekonomichna Pravda. According to Prime Minister of Ukraine Denis Megal, low-income families as well as internally displaced families that have children or adults with disabilities will receive 6.5 thousand grivna for each child, which is approximately 156 US dollars. These funds can be spent on buying warm clothes, shoes, and other things needed for children in the winter. Earlier, President Volodymyr Zelensky initiated programs to help all Ukrainians. Throughout this program, every Ukrainian will be able to receive a thousand grivna, about 24 US dollars, to pay for Ukrainian services and goods. Thank you for listening to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast, when a commercial initiative of just two people and we need your help to grow. Share information about the podcast, rate us in the app, subscribe to our Patreon. With your support, we're getting better. We call on you to demand from governments of your countries to impose the toughest sanctions possible on Russia and its citizens to stop their invasion of Ukraine.